Well, this weekend is our chance, all of us, to stamp out hunger. Here to talk about this weekend's big event. And the food drive is Raquel Acasio and Casey Castillo. You guys, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you. Uh, I love talking about this because it's important. People need to know about it so they can help out. Um, Casey, first of all, food insecurity. We talk about this with you all the time and the work you guys are doing at the food bank. How big of a problem is it now? Because two, three years ago was a big problem. It's worse now. Yeah, so we're serving over half a million people per month. That number really wow. hasn't changed for two years. And with the new stressors on uh, food insecure families, sure. we don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Yeah. So what is this all about? Well, what this is all about is helping the communities that we serve yeah. as letter carriers. Yeah. The National Association of Letter Carriers has been doing this. This is our 30th annual food drive. So the 30th, so the idea here is to get, you know, the, the mail carriers are there in every neighborhood and folks have an easy way to literally just leave food if you want next to your mailbox, right? Explain Absolutely. how it works. Is it just that simple? It's just that simple. Okay. All you need to do on Saturday, May 14th is take the food, put it in a bag, leave it out by your mailbox and the letter carrier will pick it up when they wow. deliver your mail. No excuses. That's what I like to say. Now there's no excuses. Literally, <laughs> go get your mail, put a can next to the, and then it'll get picked up. I was asking you if you have like uh, one of those communal boxes, you know, where there's like 20 of them at the same, you mm -hmm. could leave it there as well, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Um, why is it important that the food bank uh, teaming up with the National Association of Letter Carriers, how did this relationship come about in the first place? Yeah, so we love this food drive. Yeah. Uh, as Rocky mentioned, 30th year. Unfortunately, we had to pause for two years yeah. because of the pandemic. 2019 was a record-breaking year. We're hoping to do that again this year. Uh, it couldn't come at a better time. The food bank typically sees leading up to summer months, in those summer months, food don donations drop off. Yeah. And so we're really hoping this will replenish our shelves and help us uh, move it into the summer months. Here's the one thing I picked up over. I know peanut butter is always big. Yeah. Peanut butter is always important, but what are some of the top items that you're looking for? Because a lot of times, like back in my day, I always say that, <laughs> like, oh, you look at your pantry, what don't I want? Well, and then you kind of, yeah, that's not necessarily, you know, people want a healthy, balanced uh, meal, right? So what kind of things are the most important that you want? Well, we love high protein right? items. And so okay. you're right, uh, jars of peanut butter, canned meat, so canned tuna, uh, canned stews and soups. And uh, of course, right now, um, with uh, some supply chain issues and yeah. shortages, we're sure. also looking for baby formula. Oh, that's right. Everybody's struggling to find that, right? Yes. Um, that's very, very important. Uh, people want to help out if they can't attend the food drive, if somehow, for some reason, they can't get to their mailbox, they can still help out, right? Yep. So we, we started our summer food drive campaign also on May 1st. And so all Albertsons Vons throughout the county are participating. So you cool. can go in there, cool. shop, purchase those items, put them in our red barrels, um, or uh, find our, our website. Outstanding. I love my mail carrier guy. I'm glad to hear he's that. He's the coolest dude. <laughs> I'm going to shout out my man, Andy. He's out there. He's watching. Oh, well, sometimes. But That's he's Andy. probably working, right? <laughs> Keep, keeping busy. So then I'm going to give him really extra a bunch of these cans that are really heavy so he can. I'm kidding. Uh -huh. I'm kidding. You know what? Raquel, but I'm kidding. But, but you know what? It's okay yeah. because it's going to be for the communities that we serve and for the food yes. bank. Yeah, so uh, those mail carriers are going to deliver yeah. that uh, product to the food bank, and then awesome. we're going to turn around and get that in the community. And he's in good shape, so he could, yeah. probably, he could <laughs> probably do it. Uh, let's get the information out again. Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive happy happening Saturday, May 14th. That is this Saturday. So all you need to do again is put those items with food next to your mailbox, your communal mailbox, or even if you have one of these. These are nice, by the way. What is this mailbox? I haven't seen one of these in a while. We don't have that in my neighborhood. Yeah. I like them. When you go like this, look. Check it out. Bam. Flag is up. You guys, thank you. Continued success. Keep up the good work in our community. We appreciate it. Well, thank, thank you so, you much. so much. We'll be right back.